I get this question a lot. What exactly is inflation? Inflation, to kind of make it really simple, is when the value of everything goes up except for the cash in your pocket, which stays the same. So an easy way to understand this is, let's say a loaf of bread cost a dollar this year. Now I know a loaf of bread doesn't cost a dollar, but we're gonna use that as the example. And next year, let's say inflation over the course of the year is about 2%. Next year, that means that loaf of bread is gonna cost you a dollar and two cents. However, if you made a dollar this year, next year you've gotta make that extra two cents, so another 2%. So you can still be at break even. Now, how we gauge inflation in the United States is through something called the Consumer Price Index. And there's a lot of debates as to whether or not our Consumer Price Index is actually a good model to be using because of some of the things that are in it. But the bottom line is, it is a good way for us to address this problem of inflation because it is a problem. As we look at it historically, in consumer price index, the, the rate of inflation has been traditionally between 2.5% and 4.5%. Of course, there are years where it spikes, like when the Carter administration, we saw inflation off of the charts. And there's also years like in 2009 when inflation did 0%. And that was one of the things that really messed up a lot of seniors because they're used to getting that cost of living increase in their Social Security checks and they didn't get it for this last year. So. What we use to gauge inflation is that consumer price index. It is something good that you can use as kind of like a guide, but just bear in mind that you're going to have to plan for inflation in all of your retirement planning. And inflation is going to run between 2.5% and 4.5%. So a good safe bet is to plan for about a 3.5% inflation. So I hope that helps. Pete Mitchell here. Look forward to sharing more on the marks and investing with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.